Hello? How's my Italian stallion? Mia. All the planets are aligned, Jack. It's time for you to man up and make an honest woman out of me. What can I do for you, Mia? It's what I can do for you, Poppy. My lips. They're still magic. I love it when you talk dirty. Only for love or money. Why are you calling, Mia? We need to talk. It's not a good time. Face to face, Jack. I'm not in New York. That's why I'm in Los Angeles. I'm still connected, Jack. And you are still on the radar screen. There are certain people who will remain nameless because I'm not on your payroll anymore who are not convinced you're out of the game. I'm happily retired. And happily divorced? Meet with me in an hour after I get settled in. I'm about to have dinner, Mia. Vista Haven Road, 3468. You owe me, Jack. It was two-way street. And I don't want it turning into a dead end. Jack was about to protest, but she clicked off. He turned back to his grill, but now he was unsettled. Mia had always been a cool customer, but there was an edge of panic in her voice. Jack let out an irritated groan. He shut off the grill with a hard snap. He wouldn't be able to eat anyway until he found out what the hell was wrong. The smell of blood flooded his senses even before he stepped into the bathroom. Mia's naked, brutalized body was hanging in the sunken shower stall. The white tiles were stained dark red with her flowing blood. Jack never cried, but he felt a roar erupt from his throat and blinding tears obscure his vision as he struggled to unbuckle Mia's belted wrists from the chrome showerhead. Her blood soaked his clothes as he stubbornly checked for signs of life. He knew it was hopeless. Her neck was entirely still. Jack used to say that ice water ran through her veins, but it was hot and red and mortal now. Jack's arms grew leaden from trying to calm Mia's spasming naked body as she bled out in his arms. He squatted in a growing pool of her blood, cradling her broken and mutilated body. Too a little too late, he thought, waiting for a response to his 911 call. The murderers had slit Mia's throat and pulled her tongue out through the opening, leaving it hanging and swollen and bloody. The drug kingpins called it a Colombian necktie. Some called it the devil's necktie. 